Thank you. Thank you. Hello. This on? Everything good? Okay. I'm Dan Maravilla. Uh, I'm from California. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of my interaction uh, with wearable technology, and, and hopefully it's an encouraging story. I think it's one that you can say, if this guy can do something, um, then anyone can. Uh, because my background is just being a weird kid. Uh, my last year of education was grade 12 from high school, and just been playing in fashion and arts and just enjoying creating things. Uh, so at that time, at 18, I started a family-based business, and I've been in the fashion accessory industry ever since. So banking belts and wallets and, and backpacks and those types of things um, for that time. So today, uh, the subject that I'm talking about is jumping from the fashion industry into wearable technology and how I have a small part in pushing some of these things forward. Um, so I think a lot of where we started was, was just being observant, just being a, someone that lives in the world and just notices where things are at, what's going on, where technology is going, and looking at functionality and how things can be improved. And I think any one of us can notice things like that and be involved and say, hey, we're using this in this function, but wouldn't it be better if? Or what would be the next step in evolution and all be part of pushing this forward? So. Uh, we looked at the devices that were out and how we could build upon those devices, make them more functional, make them more user-friendly, uh, things like that. So I just want to share with you uh, a little bit of our, our interaction with, with Apple. Um, so the Apple Watch, a lot of buzz about the Apple Watch coming out. Um, this was announced in September. Uh, they've been saying that Apple had innovated at the first time with the home computer, um, and then a big innovation was the iPod. And now the next step in a huge innovation from them is wearable technology in the Apple Watch. Um, so a big company like Apple doing that, um, and our interaction with them started when the Gen 6 Nano came out four years ago. So this came out, and Steve Jobs at the time who was announcing it mentioned that um, one of the stockholders or someone in the company mentioned that they could make a band and they were going to wear this as a watch. And that comment started, and we were nowhere near this field. We were doing fashion accessories. Um, I didn't watch the keynote. I wasn't aware of it, but a friend of mine mentioned that and saying, hey, you guys do watches. Why don't you, you know, go after this? And we said, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Why don't we, well, let's see what we can do. Uh, so we jumped into the field and started to make watch bands. Silicone is one of the ones that we started with. And, and took it and, and, and brought this idea to Apple and said, hey, uh, we believe that we can, you know, that people will want to have this for a, a, an athlete or just for music wearing, just for use to push this forward. Um, and four years ago, when we brought this to Apple, anyone want to guess what their answer was? No. No, not interested. We talk about it, and it's, it's not compelling. We don't believe that there's a, a business for this, um, that it's a kind of a gimmicky thing. Um, not interested. So we kept developing, doing different things, and, and they eventually uh, tested us and, and a handful of other brands. Uh, the test went surprisingly well. Um, it turned into a huge business for them, um, and we ended up being the exclusive watch band vendor to all the Apple stores, 300 and some stores worldwide, uh, where there's a whole stripe of watch bands. And some of the things that we did, partnering with them, is bring into stainless steel. Uh, we patented a clip where you clip in the nano uh, into a watch band, into you know, different materials, stainless steel, uh, leather watch bands. Uh, and their first, you know, it goes a year, and then they have what's called a Rev, where they'll bring out the newest product. Gen 2, when they brought it around, what did they add? 16 watch faces with Mickey Mouse and Kermit the Frog and all of that. Um, so they're starting to take notice, saying, hey, there is an appetite this for this. People are looking for wearable technology. When at first they said, nobody wants to have an iPod on the wrist, now they're saying, yes, we see where that can happen. So that went forward. Um, and one of the ways that, that we kind of pushed that along. Uh, a year ago, they, they changed the Nano and brought it into a rectangular, and the whole watch kind of thing fizzled out. Uh, and now we are a year later, and when we see the Apple Watch uh, coming to market. So just a little way that a small company can be involved and, and you know, do little things that are innovative in a small way, but can, be, can take notice and, and help something move forward. So I also want to talk to you about cell phones. Uh, everyone has a cell phone, of course. We've seen a lot of integration into cell phone, how much we use it for everything now, right? Our social media is pushing there. Our shopping is pushing there. Our cameras have pushed there in a large extent. Um, and our wallet is pushing there. And that's one of the ways that we are, are involved with it. 
So Apple Pay technology also announced uh, this September. And this is the technology where you can load your credit cards onto your phone and you can use RFID or close proximity scanning to use tap to pay within this. Um, back in 2012, uh, this is our stealth case that we developed. It originally started with the iPhone uh, 4. Um, so we developed this with Apple, some things we talked to their, their people about. And the concept was to be able to put a tap to pay card built into a case uh, putting a barrier using a material called ferrite that they use within cell phones to block the RFID so it would work. Traditionally, if you put it together, your cell phone and your card will cancel each other out. So we made it possible that you could put this in your case. It was in the Apple stores, and it started the process of being able to merge your wallet with that and, and bringing the payment aspect into your cell phone. A couple of the other designs that we brought to them was uh, innovating into the leather wallet case. Uh, our code wallet in iPhone 4, this is in 2012. Um, some of the different wallet features that we brought in and, and showing an appetite. Uh, I'll show you some of the cases that we did. Uh, but through this time, we, we gained it up into one of the top five you know, cell phone case designs in the Apple stores uh, and showing them that functionality and merging of wallet and phone was definitely another appetite uh, that we were involved kind of learning along with them so our solo wallet, who's got credit card slots on the back out of genuine leather, uh, into today, into the iPhone 6, continue to make the, the new wallet cases that fit all of that. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to share with you is we're also involved with looking at other technologies like the iPad and tablets. And, and one of the things we looked at is how can we benefit people that use the tablets. You know, one of the benefits of it is it's quick booting. It's not like a laptop, it starts quickly. It's something you see people using commuting. So if I travel around the world and I see people on trains and mobile places, they're using iPads quickly because it can boot, and when their stop comes up, they can throw it away and they can move on. Um, so one of the designs we came up with was a, a messenger that had a pad port you can see under the flap where you could house your tablet. So you can quickly wear the messengers across body, pull the flap up, Use your iPad when your stop comes, throw it over. So we actually patented uh, the, we had the patent to be able to use a technology device on an exterior of a bag uh, and hold the patent for that and receive many design awards. So that's the little way that Hex was involved. Um, and hopefully it just shows that uh, we're all kind of part of this whole process and, and encourage you to, to get in and bring ideas to light and move forward in that way. So any questions for me, I guess, is the next step.